Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Now only last week did I make a leak video of all the new blind bags and Mega Constructs toys and now we already have more. Halo Heroes Series 13. I hope you enjoy this blind bag and Halo Heroes Series 12 opening in the background. And my goodness me, let's just jump straight into these images. We've got two primary images for today and look at these figures. This is Halo Heroes Series 13, and there's so much to unpackage here. I'm gonna go through it one by one, but my goodness me, I know what stood out for me the most. Maybe it stood out for you too. This brute chieftain. Look at this thing. This is a seriously menacing brute. Even with Craig's adorable face hidden under that helmet, that's a that's an insane brute. At first I was worried it wasn't Craig from the original image, but then this second image surfaced and it you can clearly see how insane this brute is. To get a new brute chieftain, especially in Halo Heroes, I'm gonna army build these boys all day long, goodness me. Even the printed gravity hammer, my goodness. Now I know not much can beat that, but this is definitely a contender. The Elite Warlord. Look at that helmet. This looks exactly like the Elite General from Halo Reach. This is just, I mean, all of this has Halo Reach vibes. And I also love the Banish color scheme for that Brute Chieftain. I was worried when I saw the Brute Chieftain from Jazzware that it didn't really look Banished-esque, but this one is perfect. And we actually saw this Elite Warlord over a year ago at a Halo Toy Fair when they were showing off the original prototypes of the Jazzware world of Halo scale. So you can see it's almost the same one. I don't know if that confirms that it's a named character. I think it probably confirms that Mega Constructs is just playing it safe and doing what Jazzware is doing because they probably don't have much guidance from Halo right now. So either way, that Elite Warlord just outrageous. To get two, like, Warlords and Chieftains that you could army build, fantastic. Then, we've got another Spartan Mark VII. This one's a bit of a cropped image, but you can see it comes with a Bulldog shotgun. A lot of the UNSC weapons don't actually look painted in these pictures, but maybe that's just me. And this Spartan Mark VII, okay, Spartan Mark VII is going to become the new staple figure that we get all the time. And I don't mind it, I mean, I do, I do like the armor. I don't think we need another Spartan Mark VII in Halo Heroes, but I'll take it for now, it's not too bad. An interesting Spartan that we do get in this set is the Spartan Trailblazer. Whoa, that is... Interesting. It looks like a mesh between CQB and Recon. It's got a very strange chest, but I like the armor customization. It's got two different colored shoulders, which is pretty cool. I guess this is a brand new Spartan and he comes with some kind of scoped DMR, but really the UNSC shy in comparison to the Covenant in this line of Halo Heroes. And then the last one that we have today is the Master Chief. And actually, it's quite funny, a couple of days ago I was commenting on my Halo Heroes Series 12 review, complaining that there wasn't a named figure in Series 12. I would have liked a painted, really highly detailed Pelican pilot, or maybe something similar, maybe even just an old figure, it doesn't really matter. I mean, the Jazzware is releasing a cat figure, so like, you can go backwards. But the Master Chief, now we don't exactly need this. We got a highly detailed Master Chief in the Brute vs. Master Chief 2 pack and also the SDCC pack. But, you know, I'm not gonna say no. Uh, one of my friends made a funny comment, we don't need a 117th Master Chief. Yes, there has been a lot of Master Chiefs. So I can kind of agree. And we also got him in the uh, anti-air gun and also the Warthog. So yeah, I mean... Master Chief fatigue might kick in, but I'm still, you know, I'll still have another Halo Heroes Master Chief. It's not too bad. Now, the only pictures we have right now are of those five figures. I'm sure more images will surface and I'll make videos if they do, but they are the Halo Heroes for today. Only five? I'm sure there'll be more. Halo Heroes, like at least six. I would go as far as seven or eight, but at least six. So there's one that's hidden right now. Maybe this is an intentional leak, but if it was an intentional leak, they might have intentionally kept back some secret figures that they don't want anyone finding out about, which I'm completely fine with. I've seen a lot of people on Twitter and things that are upset that these leaks are spoiling things about Halo Infinite and they'd rather have 343 do it, but I mean, I don't mind. I love Mega Constructs, especially that, oh, that brute and elite warlord. My goodness, they're so nice. 
And, you know, I've got a lot more Halo toys for you today. First of all, we've got a load of Jazzware figures. The Master Chief vs. Brute Chieftain that I commented on last week has actually been found in the wild. And it's been compared to McFarlane Brutes. Yes, it's a lot smaller, but in fairness, this is the world of Halo scale. If you can see this picture that's from Halo Podcast Evolved, you can see that they are all scaled to each other pretty perfectly, except that Marine seems quite small. But they are scaled nicely with each other, so I don't mind a new scale. They won't work well with McFarlane figures, but that's kind of okay. And this one caught my eyes the most. The Spartan Mark 5B, so that's definitely Halo Reach, versus Jegarunai, or however you say his name. He's this new Hand of Atriox Silent Shadow. They look awesome. Look at them. I mean, that elite looks so badass. Then we've also got a Mongoose. Sorry about the very low-res pictures, but we've got a Mongoose with a rocket launcher and the Master Chief. That's very nice. And Kevin Hurd from Halo Collector, if you don't follow Halo Collector, you definitely should, has found all of these figures in the wild too. The Master Chief, the Spartan Mark VII in red, looks really cool with a brand new weapon. We don't know what that thing is. Cat B320 with kind of a funny looking face, and then a Jackal Sniper and a standard Lego Brute. <laughs> you know, the, uh, the strange armor that they used in the Halo Infinite demo. I don't mind it, but there's the Brute sort of warrior, and then also the Pelican Pilot. And you know, all those figures look amazing. And then we've also got the Funko Pops, a little less amazing. I've never been a big fan of Funko Pops. I think they're sort of, I mean, look, I, I like Funko Pops in terms of like, I'll collect a few, but I definitely think they milk every franchise dry. Like, look at this, it's six figures, but it's only two different molds. There are three variations of the Master Chief and three variations of Spartan Mark VII. And most of them, well, half of them are all just sellouts to big stores. So it's only Funko trying to make a lot of money, but I'll still get a couple of them. And then the last thing today to wrap it up, guys, we've got a Seagate one terabyte Xbox hard drive. This thing is pretty expensive, but I thought it was really cool that they're making a terabyte hard drive to adapt to your Xbox Series X or Xbox Series S. Really cool indeed. Lots of toy news and really, I'm very excited for Halo Heroes Series 13. You'll probably see a lot more videos about Series 13, especially when we have more high def images. But for now, the Brute Chiefs and an Elite Warlord are insane. The Master Chief and the new Trailblazer, awesome. And the Spartan Mark VII is kind of okay. I don't really need another one, but it's still cool army building. All of it, I mean, I'm just so excited. This gets me more and more excited for Halo Infinite. This was another video with The Domain. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Let me know if you enjoyed these kind of news update videos. I really enjoyed making them. And Craig the Brute, in all his glory, is signing off. <laughs>